So when I had uh, growth fulfillment and model ops, which is different, uh, slightly different groups today, um, the groups created this, they didn't want to coordinate on promotions between the engineering managers and senior engineering manager and me in Slack and Google Docs. So we still use the Google Docs and template, but we decided to use a private project with, a, with an issue template to coordinate the process. Things like, you know, the engineering manager who wants to be promoted, the engineering manager does this, their, their manager does this, et cetera, and it includes peer review and like common things that would be caught in review, like having names of people in the thanks section or the kudos section, we, we try not to have to do that. And also the length of the document, we try to make it about six pages. So that kind of helped to do a little quality control and just manage the overall process. And it worked well. Now I have different teams now. I, uh, it's still growth in model ops. I now have SEC. So I don't know if Jerome's gonna continue this for fulfillment. They seem to like it, but not sure. And I haven't brought this in front of SEC yet to see their thoughts. So I brought this up to Christopher and he said, hey, maybe other teams wanna do this. Maybe we can standardize the overall promotion process inside each team. And then when it uh, rolls up to him and Juliana for their reviews was this calibration, the, 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 the um, meetings where we go through the promotions, they're, they're, they're pretty painful. I'm not sure a process like this will help it that much, but it might help it a little uh, painful and just a, we have lots to discuss and it takes a long time. So Christopher said, run it by some people like Darva and Juliana and see what they think. So what do you think? So I think it's a great idea. Um, so what I did was I, I did not want to like contaminate my brain with your wonderful idea. What I want, I felt like the best way I could contribute is to think about how I will build it out and then compare how I will build it out to how you built it out to see where there were overlaps or differences. Um, and so it's kind of like cleansing the palate uh, so that you know, uh, you can carry. So I wanted to, um, Kind of walk you through. Uh, if you go to one, I wanted to one A. Um, we have two ones. Sorry about that. Yep. It's two, two A, uh, uh, two A, uh, and how two A four, and how I created a small prototype and how I'll do it. So I can share my screen. And this is not taking away from what you did. This is just like if I were to just figure this out on my own, this is how I would do it. Um, so I believe I would create a promotion that was probably not coming out. I did this a while ago, back to the first one, but, uh, it was a, it was a promotion doc issue for someone from, from intermediate to senior. Uh, and then I had, you would attach, uh, these are the, the questions that we have in the calibration agenda that are typically asked. And we just had that pre-populated here instead of having all of that in the calibration agenda. And then I was thinking the calibration agenda, you just link to the issue. So the agendas would be, um, they wouldn't be so like um, crowded with, with information. And, and then you would attach the promotion document there. And uh, I had a lot of labels. The reason for all the labels is because if we were to move towards something like this, that means we're moving out of the spreadsheet. The only way to move out of the spreadsheet is to create boards or views where you can filter and sort because that's what we tend to do a lot. We like sort by all, we want to do all intermediates or we want to know everybody who's, um, let's let's talk about all of Tim's people or, or, or things like that. Um, and then I had a workflow status uh, so that you know where you are kind of like in the workflow and going back to this. Uh, so I had a department view board and I, yeah, was such a bad color. I should have never done that, but this would be, uh, I don't have anything, but oh, there it is. So for the, the development department, uh, you, you could see where everything is. So awaiting performance, whatever I have there. I can't remember all these were awaiting peer review and peer review. So just like our normal workflow statuses. So if Christopher was interested in like seeing where we were or Juliana, cause she's um, checking, but then we could have the, uh, sub department view so that Tim could kind of see where all of his were and I would I would run a view for, for my stage and so on but then when we're in a meeting we have okay let's talk about intermediates so 
that's pretty much a quick overview of, of what the first thing that I that I thought of when I started to think, how do we use issues and possibly ethics and boards to manage a promotion process? I like it. It's uh, it's got a lot of benefits over what I was in. I had one big issue per quarter for the entire team and then comments on each. And I like, uh, but the questions are very similar. Um, you know, where's the promotion doc? Has it been, who's done the peer review, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and I also conflated the process of managers determining who they want to promote with the promotion process once they decide. And I like actually just make, that can be handled separately, but the who they want to promote. Um, I would like names like, make sure you tell me by this date, because if you don't, then they're not going to be considered, but that, that's, that's kind of two different processes. I really like the labels too, and, and having the issue boards. The one thing that came up is with both is, so would each, so we could have one project that includes all engineering managers, senior engineer managers and directors and Christopher and Juliana. And that would be really efficient, but it doesn't have, um, it might not have the right confidentiality we want. Like, let's say I want to, somebody on one of my teams wants to promote somebody and I don't agree. Like, should my peers, like, should you know about that, right? Or should that be kept inside the team? Some might want to keep that inside the team, like the internal debate on a team at the senior manager level or director level before it gets to everybody who's a leader. Okay. It, we're going to have a project for each group and then merge them over, like copy the issues over. It's a bunch of busy work, but it might, it might give us the confidentiality that some may want. But what do you think? I think you're right. I think that whether you capture that process in another project or in a Google Doc or in a Slack channel, because of confidentiality, they can't be together. So today, I always ask, what are we doing today? We're doing it through Google Doc and Slack. So um, if we, you know, create a project by stage, a project by sub-department, that's still a step better than using Slack and Google Doc. It's not ideal. Like, ideally, GitLab would allow you to, like, you know, have a path from private projects to uh, another project, but we don't have that functionality. But I think it's an iteration that's better than what we're currently doing. But I do like the idea of capturing, capturing what's happening before in a, like a sub-department private project or a stage private project, I like that. But I agree, I shouldn't see who didn't make it. I should only see what I would normally see today. I shouldn't see more than what I see today. Uh, because there's a reason why I don't see it today. It's kind of, uh, take notes while we're talking. No worries. Okay, cool. So we're, we're um... I really wanted Juliana to get feedback on this because this is really her process. Because what I'm suggesting is saying, Juliana, I'm just tear you away from your spreadsheet, you know, and you would use issues lists and, and labels and also from the, engineers, engineer managers, directors, et cetera, uh, or engineering managers and up, they have to use those labels. We have to have excellent label hygiene or this won't work, things won't show up. And then Juliana show up and surprise. So it could be that in the development staff meeting, Juliana says, this is my board. This is what I see. If you're not on this board, it's not making it. Whereas today, she probably gives us a list maybe in our Wonder Woman, or I don't know how she does it today, but it's probably using some kind of Google Doc. But she would, you know, she would have to sign off and make sure that we have all the labels we need, all the workflow statuses that we need. So this is very much kind of like changing how she works as well. Yep, makes sense. So what I'll do is um, I've got, a, I have a one-on-one -on -one with Juliana every two weeks, I think every three weeks, so it's not. I actually have a call with her right after this one. Okay, so one is, why don't you uh, run it by her and then uh, let me know, how's that sound? Sounds good, it's very timely. Um, and then uh, we can uh, collaborate on an MR for the handbook on here's our process, here's our examples, it's all draft and you know, uh, since you and I created together, I'm sure we'll do it. I wouldn't want to force it on the other teams necessarily until we try it, but may maybe we try it for one quarter 
like make it optional for everybody for one quarter, except for you and I, and, and, you know, some, and then we'll see how it goes. And then if it goes well, then make it require, you know, iteratively improve it, make it required for everybody else the next quarter. That sounds good iteration. And, and so the, when we do it, we'll just tell Juliana, like she'll have two, two places to look, to look at the spreadsheet and our boards, but it's part of her learning if that board worked for her too. So I think that makes sense. But I didn't mean to like discredit anything that you wrote. I it's just kind of how I if I once I see what you wrote, I probably wouldn't be able to come up with anything. I'm like, oh, this looks good, you know. So that's uh, that I'm makes good. that makes perfect sense. Yeah, it's always good to kind of clean room it, uh, so you're not unduly influenced by previous work. No, it's good. Like uh, you might have not had the idea on the uh, issue labels uh, I, right. because I wasn't using that, and that that it makes it so much better, so much better. But I never even had the idea to do this through the lab. It never even crossed my mind. And um, I think just you bringing it up, oh, this could really work. Um, so thank you for even coming up with the idea. Cool. Well, thanks, Jeremy. So uh, let me know how it goes with Juliana. And then um, I'll do, unless you want to, I'll do the first draft of the MR uh, and then uh, tag you for uh, uh, for your review before we, and and mine will also be, this is a draft process, not the process. And then uh, get your feedback on Juliana's, if Juliana's good with us going forward with this, and uh, then go from there. All right, sounds good. Cool, thanks, Norva. Catch you later. Thanks.